More than a year ago, he announced to the world the election of Pope Francis. Annuncio vobis gaudium magnum, abemus papam. His name is Jean-Louis Touran, a French cardinal who has worked closely with John Paul II and Benedict XVI. In fact, he met Pope Wojtyla upon his appointment as the Vatican's foreign minister. I remember that he jokingly told me, they will say you are too young. How old are you? I told him I was 47. He responded, ah, yes, you are young, but you'll get over that sickness soon. But aside from anecdotes, Cardinal Turan said he knew right away that his boss, the person who appointed him, was a saint. I told that to my secretary the first month. I would meet with the Pope each Wednesday afternoon, and after the fourth time I told my secretary, this man is a saint. He lived immersed in God. He never lost contact with God. The Vatican has confirmed that Benedict XVI will also be at the canonization ceremony. Cardinal Turan explained why the work of the Pope Emeritus is closely tied to John XXIII. John the 23rd opened the church's doors. It's no longer a church that condemns, it welcomes. Benedict XVI is a pope that drew crowds to listen to his teachings. And I would say that with Pope Francis, people come to interact with him. And so on Sunday, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims will witness the canonization of John Paul II and John XXIII. They were popes that enjoyed surrounding themselves with people. But at the same time, Cardinal Turan said that both popes were experts at showing the importance of prayer and inner peace.